Hello, Oz Dusselet here with Datascopic and I want to show you something pretty cool with Excel and we're going to get into aggregate. All right, so let's paint the scenario. We are hosting an event and we have these members. So let's call this members, All right, you know, each member, okay. And it's down here to Randall and we see that Tina is planning to bring three guests. Gigi is bringing seven guests and she's coming from Oak Park. Jacques is not bringing anybody. He's coming from Oak Park. Vi has four guests. She's coming from Niles. All right. So let's start looking at our numbers so we can anticipate what's going on. So let's say so for members. Let's do equals count a the entire column of B B colon B minus one great and what's happening is count a is looking down column B and counting anything that is not empty and so that's why we had the minus one so that it does not count our header Okay, so if all of the members come with no guests, there's 36 people. Guests, let's do a sum of column C. That gives us 71 total guests. So if everybody were to show up, plus the guests plus members, everybody, we would have 107 people and then we get a call phil is not coming so let's hide the row all right we could move it we could delete it whatever but let's just hide the row all right and the numbers have not changed loretta and vera are not coming so let's hide the row all right we would like to have more of a sense of what's going on than this so let's unhide everything and also notice here let's put that back let's oh here let's uh let's hide some more rows here hide all right so now we have this people who are not coming and the number jumps from six to eleven and then vera says she's not coming let's hide that row all right so we've got 18 jumping at 20. So if we print this list out, it's going to look crazy. So let's go ahead and unhide all of the rows. And let's get rid of these numbers. Okay. Number of guests. We do not want to count hidden rows. So let's do equals aggregate. Okay, and we want to do, we're counting our number of guests, so we want to do sum. So that's going to be nine, comma, ignore hidden rows, comma, and the range that we want to look in, that we want to sum. All right, so I'm going to do that there. Cool. So if all of the guests come, we're going to have 71. Now, hide this because Eduardo is not coming. Ah, now it takes his five guests off of the count. Okay, so let's unhide that. Now let's do this for the numbering of the rows and thanks to Mr. Excel, Bill Jellin for this because I had somebody who really need this, needed to do something like this and it was critical and thanks to Mr. Excel for this tip. So what we're going to do is use aggregate again equals aggregate. Okay, and we want count. Okay. Comma. 
ignore hidden roles comma and now we want the range so we're gonna do a dollar sign four colon a four and close the parentheses and then plus one okay so let's see how this works good 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 36 okay so Randall is 36 right and that matches up with the maximum number of members and so now we say Eduardo is not coming hide the row now is as if he never existed right uh oh um Ursula six fill seven okay unhide so if we print out this list the numbers are gonna make sense so now let's do an aggregate again for our number our members and it doesn't look like aggregate works on text so we are going to go by the uh, the actual row number so we're gonna say equals aggregate and we want count ignore hidden rows and our range there so now okay things are looking good beautiful so if everybody shows up no changes 107 people we should expect and then Teddy calls he's not coming 106 people because Teddy was not planning to bring any guests and then Vi and Orion say that they're not coming 98 people and so we can see that our max is 107 that does not change but by using the aggregate we can keep a running count all right and our numbers make sense we don't have any gaps and then we find out that Marion is not coming with her one guest hide so we've got 96 and Deanna isn't coming hide 94 all right so now oh Felix says he's bringing two people wow okay so 109 96 great so uh, dig in the aggregate check it out thanks again to mr. Excel for the tip on get getting these uh, row numbers straightened out and yeah keep your data clean and send in questions and maybe I'll make a video for you thanks a lot